Welcome to Electron Line, another really good type of problem that works well when you're trying to solve two equations and two unknowns or when we're trying to solve a system of linear equations is, for example, a rental truck. Some companies, they charge more per day but less per mile. Other companies charge less per day but more per mile. And so we want to know if we have two companies where one rents trucks for $75 per day and 10 cents per mile and the other company rents trucks for $40 per day and 20 cents per mile when the cost would be the same for either company. Notice if you're just going to drive the truck a few miles then of course company B is the cheapest but if you're going to drive it a whole lot of miles then it appears that company A may be the cheapest but where is that break even point? So let's graph that and see what that looks like. So here we have cost and here we have miles driven. X that would be miles driven. And let's start with company A. Notice that it would be $75 per day, but as the miles are driven, the cost per mile is only 10 cents per mile. So it looks like this. The other company, well, it starts at $40 per day, but the per mile is cost is more. So eventually the cost of company B, so this would be company B, this is company A, the cost for company B will be greater than the cost for company A and what we want to do is find the equilibrium point, what is the miles driven at which it doesn't matter which company you use. Alright, so let's come up with two equations. So the cost for company A is equal to the cost per day plus the cost per mile which would be 0 0.1 10 cents per mile x would be miles driven the cost for company b is equal to 40 dollars per day plus 0.2 x of course we want to know at what point the cost will be the same so we're going to set the cost for a equal to the cost for b in other words we're going to set and let me come over here so i have a little bit more room we're going to set the cost for A equal to the cost for B, and the cost for A is 75 plus 0.1x is equal to the cost for B, which is 40, plus 0.2x. So let me make that look like an x. There we go. Now, let's move all the terms with x on one side, or maybe what we should do first is get rid of that decimal. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation by 10 to get rid, to get rid of that decimal point. So here we get 750 plus x is equal to 400 plus 2x. Now let's move all the x's to one side. So x minus 2x is equal to 400 minus 750 because we move all the numbers to the right. So minus x is equal to minus 350 or x is equal to 350, which means that if we drive the truck more than 350 miles in a day, we should go with company, company A. So more than 350, we'll go with company A. Less than 350, we'll go with company B to get the cheapest rental price on the truck. And that is how it's done. Okay, last one for this set.